New videos every day. So welcome back to the series, Back Pain from Poor Posture. A couple of things that we wanted to remind you of before you go. Um, remember this series from the, from the beginning, poor posture, good posture, keeping and maintaining that S curve. Remember if you're at work and you're a desk jockey, set yourself a reminder, have somebody cue you. If you've got kids that you notice come home with slouchy posture, carrying their backpacks, make them pay you 25 cents for every time you catch them in some bad position. I promise you they will start remembering to sit up straight, walk straight, shoulders back. A few things at the gym, a couple of things, that, uh, mistakes that are made by a lot of people. Remember, if you're on this 80-20 plan, which again, does not work for the body, this will create injury, dysfunction, neurological issues, muscle spasms, disc herniations, I could go on and on. You've got to remember that at the gym, don't go reinforce this pattern. You go home um, or you're at 24 you know, hour fitness and you're doing crunches and sit-ups, what do they perpetuate? They're still in this movement pattern. Then what do you go do bench press? Well, what have we been working on today? Loosening up the pecs, getting the front of the body open. So don't go create a very strong pec region just to kind of perpetuate this forward posture. You want to start doing more rows and things that influence the back and move into extension, something opposite of this position that we live in 80% of the time. So a couple things um, for us to remember as far as that goes. So a couple of great tools you guys can get for home. If you do not own a physio ball or a TheraBall, some people call it, get you one. There's so many things that you can do with this. And throughout this series, we'll be showing you all kinds of stretches and exercises that you can do with a physio ball. These are cheap. You can get them at Walgreens, CVS, Academy, Sport Authority, whatever you want. Online also, you can get uh, foam rolls. Um, foam rolls are awesome for help creating mobility and you can do some stretches on these as well. And I'll show you that. Um, here momentarily. Charles is going to take this foam roll first, put it behind his upper back, kind of right between his shoulder blades. <laughs> I'm a little restricted athlete. Nice and easy. On here, he's going to do that same lock out the neck, elbows in front. And all he's going to do here is again, we're looking for the opposite effect, that 50-50 plan. I want him to extend over the foam roll, kind of try and get a little bit of mobility closer the elbows are, the harder this is. For those of you who are super restricted here, can open those elbows up a little bit, but just kind of nice and easy, back and forth. Open the abdominal wall up, open this rib cage up and create extension through the spine, that opposite effect, just like that. Can also take this to the floor, stop for a second. And again, this will be on the floor. You do the exact same thing. Put your butt right there. Put it right in the mid back, lock the neck out. Again, always protecting the cervical spine. Elbows come together and again, he's looking for extension. A lot of times, if you're really restricted in this area, you're gonna try and get it from your low back. You wanna kinda try and stabilize this area, hold it nice and still while the upper back gets to move in the opposite direction. So nice and easy, you can do reps of this, you can do a sustained hold for a stretch to the abdominal wall. Lock out the neck, always, always important that you protect that cervical spine. So to start off with, once you get your physio ball, this is a really basic exercise that you can do at home um, that's safe to do. It's a little bit more advanced when you add the ball to it, but these are things you could also do on a table without the ball. Um, what I'm looking for here now is we're going to start targeting, strengthening um, exercises that target the back because again, when you're very pec dominant and kind of rolled in all of the time, these guys tend to get weak and um, with weakness comes, you know, a perpetuating the posture, which we again want you to get out of. So this is called an ITYW series. Just like the letters, you're creating them with your arms. But what I'm looking for here is Charles is going to be on the ball. Feet are spread apart. That gives you more stability. Obviously, if you get really good at this, bring your feet together. 
But to start off with, spread your feet. We're gonna have a nice neutral spine here. Charles is gonna come up into a little bit of extension. Already that's gonna start activating these extensor muscles of the back. Now we're gonna add the arm piece to it. So Charles is gonna demonstrate an eye where the arms are totally back. Want this head to be kind of in neutral so that you're not hyperextending the neck. This starts to activate some of these mid-back muscles. Good squeeze, you wanna try and hold for like five seconds and then relax. And again, go into that squeeze and get them activated. Always kind of keeping this posture here. That's an I. We're gonna go into a T, which is straight out beside you. It's an easier version. Bring these shoulder blades together, give a good squeeze. Again, don't forget, if you're really starting to stress the back, the head is going to want to come up, so you might need somebody to help kind of cue you on that or check out yourself in a mirror. Nice and easy. Then we're going to go into a W, almost just like we did with the wall angel. And you can already see Charles' restrictions here. Got to get these shoulder blades to come together, squeeze, hold for five seconds, repeat. These can be five to ten reps at a time. There's a reverse W where now the hands are basically facing the floor. And again, you're kind of bringing up, squeezing, holding repeating. And then the last one is the most difficult. So if you have trouble with any of these, don't attempt the Y yet. But a Y is arms are up like Superman. Again, this is getting the lower trap muscles, some of the bigger back muscles, but this is also where a lot of people have um, some issues in the shoulder, some pain, some dysfunction, and some weakness. So again, these should be up clearly above his ear line, and he is struggling with this. So this is a great place for him to start. Something simple, <laughs> There's where they should be. See if you can hold that there. Oh, hard eyes can just feel him quivering. So this is a great place for him to start. And those of you, too, that get you a physio ball for home, easy, simple exercises to do. That's it for our series. Remember, this is where you want to be on the 50-50 plan. So check out the videos. Look at the whole series. There's a lot of educational tools. There's postural re-education. There's some stretches. There's some mobility. Ron went over some soft tissue uh, techniques that are just phenomenal, work for a lot of people in our facility. Um, so comment, give us a like, let us know what you think. Thanks.